part two. Hello and welcome back to Jack's Mini Zoo. And uh, well, this is part two of the video before, so the link's up here. So if you haven't seen that, quickly go and check it out. Um, so this is part two of building the giant prickly stick insect enclosure. So as you can see, it's done. So I'm gonna put my Instagram right here. Uh, you can see all the pictures on there of me doing it, but I'm just going to walk you through how I've done it and what I started off with. So the background you'll probably recognise from last video, and so what I've done is actually cut them uh, in half so it looks much better and glued them on. So now it's so now it's proper. This is the front. So this was a jigsaw cutout, and then what I've done is put thin bits of wood on the back of it and put the fly mesh between them and made it so it's all straight. As you can see, I stapled the fly mesh. I don't know if you can actually see. So I'll just bring it closer. So as you can see, I've uh, stapled all the fly mesh on. That is exactly the same of what's in between here, but I've just put the wood over it so it's, it's covered from the front because we're not actually gonna look at the side. And also, this is big enough for the giant prickly stick insects to actually fly around because these insects do fly around. I'll put a picture of uh, a male with wings right here. So uh, this is, well, it is complete. So what I'm going to be doing is putting some paper t paper towels on the bottom because that's what I always do with all my stick insect enclosures because I just find it's easier. So I like the cork bark because they can put it on the back as well. But then also uh, the only way you can get in is through the top. So the top is pretty much done as the same as the front. So here it's been cut out with a jigsaw and then it's got the thin bits of wood and the fly mesh. So that's the only way in. But then I'm also going to have, like you can see there, there's a cup in there. So I'm going to be having that cup in the same place right here. So I'm going to be adding them right now. Here's just a little size comparison. But um, So we'll be adding them now. So. I think one of these guys has actually recently shed so it will be a much bigger and better enclosure for them okay. so let's get them out so what I'm going to do first is put them in a separate pot to make sure that well they don't get harmed <laughs> And then, yeah, so the female has recently just shed. So now she's massive. Okay. All right then. So let's put this. I'll just take the top. So I've kind of tried to go for the same for the same with this design as this top has, as you can see it's mesh, but instead of pl plastic it's actually wood. So this, they're, they're going to be eating this, but then they've also got a lot more room. Okay, so that looks really small, so what I'm going to be having to do is, next time I do feed, I have to put bigger bits so they do reach to the top, but I think it should be alright for now. So I've actually I put had to put three pieces of tissue paper, but usually I only have to put two. So uh, you can tell the difference. All right, so I'm going to be adding them. Actually, I'll give it a spray. And I forgot to mention I have uh, I put varnish, um, no, not varnish, uh, wood coloration on it to make it stand out a bit more because I quite like that um, deeper, the darker colour. So now it's time to add them.
Okay, so now we're going to be moving this one into the spot that I wanted it. So I've measured it all out and it fits perfectly into this spot. So it's going to just reverse all the way back and slide in there. So that's where it's going to live from now on. I think it looks really good. There. So there you go. And now you can see it. So the light can shine through the top if I have the lights on or the uh, window through the side. But yeah, so I'll get in and out through the top. But now I'm going to be moving these right here, these into this. So I'm going to be moving them and they're going to be done. And there we go. So now they're in a much more realistic, well, not realistic, a much better enclosure because that was just a upturned uh, aquarium. So this is actually a proper stick insect enclosure. So that's they're just going to go exactly where the giant prickly stick insect went. So uh, thank you for watching Jack's Mini Zoo. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you would like to see more, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.